Hey everybody, we are at Brownwood Park. It is April 25th and our in-person um, Forest Sunday School is happening today at 2 p.m. at Brownwood Forest Park. So on Pendleton Street, it's the opposite side of the tennis courts. And we are going to continue to explore what Pastor Tim spoke and preached about this morning, which is pioneer species. So after a big disturbance like a forest fire or a, a whole bunch of trees being blown down, like in a tornado, um, then succession happens, secondary succession. And that's where all of our pioneer species or what we call weeds show up to help to heal the ground. And I think that that is so cool because God literally created a creation that heals and repairs and balances itself. So when we come through and we just cut down all the trees, God has created a way, a way that will heal the soil to build nutrients back up to help to support the big forest trees to be able to regrow which I think is so, so cool. And it's kind of like what Jesus did for us. When people made really bad decisions and God was really sad and God ended up sending God's own son to come and help us heal, to help us find balance, to be able to repair our broken world and make sure that we're setting our eyes on Jesus and on God and on creating right decisions um, and sharing love with everybody in our diverse ecosystem of a community. So I think when I look at nature, that's what I learn about God and who God is. Um, and I just think that that's super special. So today, if you are not joining us for our in-person forest camp, you're welcome to um, join along with our creative response. We have our story that's coming up um, from our mystery and magic of um, tree book but we can, you can also just go on a nature walk anywhere, whether you're at home, whether you're traveling, maybe you have a cool park or even just your backyard outside and go explore and try to identify weeds. So for our younger kids, we are going to be recycling cardboard. Um, this is supposed to be a vase shape. So we just cut out vase shapes, technically it's this way, vase shapes from a cardboard box and then we colored them and then we poked holes through the top so we can go and identify our pioneer species, also what most of us call as weeds, um, and find beauty in them. So right here in front of me is chickweed. I can identify these through the little teeny tiny white flowers. The opposite leaves. On either side of them. And then you can pluck them through your holes as a way to create a vase full of the beautiful flowering pioneer species and weeds that we have around us. For our older kids, you can take a, the same cardboard and be able to identify some of the plants around us. So maybe you see clover or dandelion. Those are both pioneer species that oh, come yeah. in. Yeah, I wrote a whole bunch of thistle, red clover, burdock, plantain, chickweed, which we just saw, stinging nettle, um, henbit, um, are all weeds that, um, that you can probably find in your yard or near the street um, and be able to identify them, draw them on the cardboard, color them in. Um, and for adults, they can even, there are plenty of um, botanical books out there that help us to learn more about plants and the families that are there so we can look at all of these and be able to make sure that we're identifying the proper plants on when we're on our nature walk, nature walk. so we hope that you join along with our nature walk um, and we hope to see some of you in person at two o'clock today in brownwood park text or email roxy if you need any more details enjoy Bye. we are in the big open clearing at brownwood park and we identified some trifoliate leaves. They're white clover. Kyler, can you show us your white clover? Ooh, beautiful. All right, so there is plenty of white clover in this big open field that we can go run out and pick some of the clover for our cardboard vases.
right, we have found another flower, another pioneer species. This yellow flower can be identified pretty easily. And then you see these leaves. They're almost like these sharp arrows. Um, this is dandelion, and it's a great nitrogen fixer and pioneer species that we can add to our beautiful weedy vase. We've just found some heart-shaped leaves that are violets. We're just a little bit past violet blooming season, but even those beautiful heart-shaped leaves of violet are still there and plentiful that you can add to your, your weed vase. All right, we found another weed or pioneer species. These are called flea bane. So you can see they're in the aster family. They have those white, many, many, many petals with a yellow center. It's a wonderful pioneer species. It's a fern and ferns and mosses are things that help to repair the ground. They're also what lived at the same time as dinosaurs. And when dinosaurs lived on our earth, there was just rocks. And then the moss and um, lichen and ferns helped to break down those rocks to create soil. We're not going to pick that fern for our nature rock because there's not many um, other ferns around us. So we wanna be sure to only harvest and pick the things that there's lots of. So if we liked in this area, we see lots of violet leaves and we could pick those, but since there's only one clump of the ferns, we're gonna leave that today. While you're on a nature walk, be sure to look out for some plants that might be poisonous and never touch any plant that you don't know exactly what it is. Right in front of me is the Virginia creeper, which some people are allergic to. It has five leaves. You can see it coming out from the very center and it's a vine that spreads throughout the forest don't touch you might be allergic here's another poisonous vine it's poison ivy and it has three leaves it acts as an ivy so climbing up trees oftentimes so leaves of three let them be Now's our time to read our book, The Magic and Mystery of Trees, written by Jen Green. If you have this book, you can go get it now and read along with me. But if you don't, you're welcome to follow along to the pages that I will read now. We'll start on page 72. Trees at Risk. All over the world, people are cutting down trees to use the land covered by forest. Slowly but surely, even vast forests like the Amazon are getting smaller. We also harm trees by spreading pollution. We need to take better care of our precious forests. Forest destruction. Why are forests disappearing? People cut down trees for timber and also to light wood fires to keep warm and to cook. We clear forest land to build new roads and cities and to make way for new farms and ranches where we raise cattle and grow crops. Lost homes. When the loggers move in, the wine of the chainsaws fills the air. That means that it's really, really noisy. Mighty trees come crashing down. Logs are loaded onto trucks. In the end, all that is left are broken stumps. Animals such as bird and deer run for their lives and are left with nowhere to live. This is called habitat destruction. Effects. Tree roots keep the soil together. Without trees to slow down and suck up the rain, the water washes soil into the rivers. This can cause flooding. Eventually, the whole area becomes drier, so farmers find it harder to grow crops. This is where our pioneer species enter the picture. Secondary succession occurs after a major change like this deforestation and clear cutting. After the disturbance, these pioneer species are highly tolerant of extreme or poor growing conditions, and they usually move into the newly disturbed spaces. These are often nitrogen fixers or plants that produce a lot of biomass. They create living conditions to facilitate the success of future species. 
The niche strategy of pioneer species is that they are fast growing and sometimes spread aggressively. These plants can often be labeled as weeds, but they are simply acting as a band-aid to disturb sites. Pollution. Cars, factories, and power plants in faraway cities can harm trees. They give off smoke and fumes that drift on the wind to pollute distant forests. The pollution makes trees drop their leaves so they get sick and eventually the trees die. So how can we help? We just celebrated Earth Day this past week and this is a great thing that you could do at home or in your community. Helping trees. Trees deserve our love and care. After all, they do a lot to keep our world healthy. In turn, it's up to all of us to take better care of the world's trees. We can use recycled paper or even plant a new tree. Plant a tree, make space in your garden, park or other open space for a brand new tree. Buy a young tree, also called a sapling, and make a home for it to grow. You'll need a shovel to dig a deep hole in the ground. Make sure the hole is twice as wide as the roots of the tree and the same depth. Roots want to spread out as far as they can. That's why we make it twice as big. Different trees like different soils, but most like loose, moist ground where the roots can grow. Plant. Plant a sapling that you have brought from, bought from a nursery. Put a piece of wood across the soil around the top of the tree's roots. This will show you where the roots come up. They should be at ground level. Fill. Shovel earth into the hole, making sure it is not packed in too tightly. The sapling's roots should be completely covered, but with room to grow. Tie the tree to a stake to help it stand up in the wind. You'll wanna make sure that this is a loose tie because as the wind blows, the trunk will actually um, grow thicker and stronger. And you don't wanna use something like a wire where it might strangle the tree and cut into the bark of the tree, which op makes an open wind. Water. Water your tree. To give it the best chance to grow, remove any weeds around it and keep an eye out for pests. In two to three years, you'll be able to remove the stake and your tree will, be, will stand proud on its own. Some forests, such as national parks and res reserves, are protected. Workers called foresters look after the trees and plant ones when needed. I hope that you have enjoyed this lesson and I hope that you maybe go plant a tree or seeds and help to make our world beautiful and safe for all creatures that live in it. Thanks so much. Bye.